Before we get started with this review, I want to let you guys know that the Elysian League is hosting a double elimination Sun and Moon tournament. I'm going to leave a link right here where I don't know where the cards go still. Uh, I'm going to put in the card the video that explains everything in detail. So if you'd like to participate, please go to that video and uh, comment in the, script, in the comment section that you want to in and I will add you to the list. You have until tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night to submit your entry and your draft team. Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clap members, Poker fans, and others who will stop on this video? I'm Sars Crocs in here with episode 40. Episode 40 review. I was actually able to watch it early in the morning because I didn't do, have to do anything this morning. So, and the video was up, but not on the website. I had to, like, I used a YouTube video that I saw. And I was like, yeah, it's up. Back. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with a pro here, okay? Just, just real quick, just real quick. I like some of the stuff they're doing. It just does not go well from a story perspective, like an actual, like, well-written story perspective. There's just a lot of issues here, and while I like the, the inclusion of Team Rocket doing stuff that's not their typical stuff, it's still, like, I wish they would have just removed the Team Rocket aspect, because what they were doing was really cool. They were, they were talking in the sky, they were using the helicopter to... You know, talk about everything that was going on and all that stuff. And then they even helped out the gang by taking them on the helicopter to go to Lysander Labs. So, like, that, I like that interaction. I just wish that they had kind of gotten rid of the Team Rocket aspect because then you could have been like, oh, we're just here to just stop Team Flair. Like, I, 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 it was, I like what they were doing. I just would have wished if they had taken off the Team Rocket aspect. Like, if they would have just said, oh, well, we're going to take down this evil team. Not because Team Rocket wants to take over Kalos, but just because they're an enemy to Team Rocket in order to... I don't know. I'm just... I just would have preferred if they got rid of that aspect. Because they, they were doing good. It's just they ruined it right there. Um, another positive thing. Serena looks like she's going to do something. Right? She, she looks like she's about to do something with Marin and Sycamore. So it's progress. You know, she has a purpose right now. Uh, like I said, it's just, the problem is it, it hurts the, 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 the better narrative that they could have had, which is Marin being at Lysander Labs already, and Alon having to struggle with himself of whether he wants to help, you know, Lysander to protect Marin or help Ash to save Kalos, which was the route they were going to go to, but I, I just assumed that maybe they didn't know how to write that, so they just said, fuck it, we'll just have Ash get kidnapped, and Alon immediately knows what to do, because for some reason, Alon has such a history with Ash that he would immediately side with him, I don't know, because again, like, they still, they still tried to hint at the whole Marin thing, but Marin's nowhere near danger right now, I mean, she's gonna be in danger now, because she's going to the Lysander Labs, but they all know she's safe, she's with good people, like, what the fuck does it matter? Right, so like the internal struggle that Alon was supposed to have is not a, is not present. Um, so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a a mixed bag with me, cause like oh well you know some of the characters that were useless are kind of doing something, and but it you know it's just it hurts the narrative that they could have had potentially, um, cause they still could have had a thing where Serena still went out to rescue Marin, along with Alon, but like still have the proper narrative here that would have been made make it a little bit more intense and more serious and more like better more better is not better just would have made it better that's just in my opinion obviously i just feel like the way they were kind of heading if they had stuck to it and like made the narrative the way that it should have been then it probably would have been a lot better overall uh i don't care for ash uh, that, we're getting to the bad part. I don't care for Ash at all. Uh, I uh, th That whole sequence right there, the reason why I dislike it so much, because it, it once again proves that the Pokemon being out made no sense whatsoever. Because if all Lysander wanted was the battle bond between Ash and Greninja, why the fuck do you have the other Pokemon out? Like, I'm being serious. If the thing that Lysander... Like, Pikachu doesn't have Pokeball. That's fine. He can be out because it's always out. But if Lysander only wanted the Greninja form shit, why the fuck is Noivern, Talonflame, Gudra, and Halucha out of their Pokeballs? I'm being serious. There's no reason for these guys to be out of here if he only wanted the Greninja stuff. So, like, that's just stupid. It's, it's literally stupid. And on top of that, the whole battle with them is, like, extremely lopsided. 
You have Mega Gyarados and and Pyroar versus all of Ash's Pokemon, the Greninja form, and Mega Charizard X. That is extremely lopsided. Are we supposed to even be concerned that the gang is gonna lose? Cause they already lost Pyroar. Like that, that shouldn't even last like five minutes. That, and and it's like and it's five minutes episode time because. Even that shit wasn't even shorter because they kept flip flopping through all the other stuff that was going on in the entire, se you know, the right now, right? Also, I just want to point out because I kind of finally figured out what happened with with uh, Trevor's Charizard. He didn't have a Mega Stone. They did the same thing here with Gyarados. I actually like went back and slowed the, the frames down. Mega Gyarados is not wearing a, a Mega Stone anywhere. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened with Charizard. I wish, I, I mean, I, I'm too lazy to go back because I really don't care for the league to go back and actually, like, look at it again frame by frame to find out if he indeed had a Megastone because it wasn't there. But immediately when Lysander activates his Keystone, then all of a sudden this magic necklace shows up out of nowhere and then Gyarados Mega evolves. So, I mean, it's just inconsistencies. That's just what I'm trying to get at. Like, they just... I don't know why they're trying to make it a surprise. Like, just fuck. You, you keep showing Mega Stones like they're all over the place. Why the fuck do you need to hide these guys? Like, it's just, it's just stupid. It's, it's literally dumb to do that. Cause then it just, it just looks weird for people who are paying attention. Cause I, 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 I saw it first and I was like, oh wait, where the hell did the Mega Stone come from? And then I went back and I did it, you know, slow frame by frame, and I noticed that it wasn't there. So it's just, it's just me, okay. That's the thing about, since I don't care for this series right now, I'm able to see inconsistency like this, and I'm sorry if that bothers you. It's just it's just what I'm doing. It's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, then you had Clement's whole thing, Blaziken Mask. See that right there? The thing that irritated me about that is that Blaziken Mask was there, but then he wasn't there, but then he was there again, but then he wasn't there. Like Again, inconsistencies with, with what's going on, because then it ended up being to where it was like, Blaziken Mask was right there with Clement, uh, Clembot, and Bonnie while they were fighting the team admin peoples, the team player admin peoples. And then, like, what ends up happening is that all of a sudden it's just Clement and Clembot fighting against the team player admins. And while I understand that they're supposed to have their own thing there, where the fuck did, like, when did Blaziken Mask even leave? Because we saw Bonnie dish because she was trying to, you know, go contact Pony Chan. Like, we saw that, but then, where the fuck did Blaze come out? And then he just disappears at the end of the episode! That one was even more stupid! But we'll get to that in a second, we'll get to that in a second. So Clement is, and, and again, showing what the problem is with, with Pokemon in this generation, the fact that they have no growth whatsoever. You have Luxray, who's a beast, but then you have Chespin and Bunnelby using the same fucking moves they've been using since the fucking start! Pimmons with a shot! That's the thing, like, if, if you just develop these fucking characters and these fucking Pokemon, they could actually be somewhat relevant. I'm being serious. Why, why doesn't this thing have, like, Seed Bomb or some shit and, like, Bunnelby has fucking Earthquake? Like, that's my problem. You never, you never develop these guys. This is, it's gonna be the same problem when Serena does it. And I know I said I'm glad that she's doing something because she is technically doing something. But her Pokemon are so irrelevant that it doesn't even matter. What the fuck are you going to do? Flamethrower everything with your damn breaks in? Because that's the only fucking move you ever use. And then Panchev doesn't do anything. That thing never changed. And then you have Sylveon. Well, what the fuck is Sylveon going to do? The only fairy type move it knows is Fairy Wind. Is Fairy Wind? Yeah, Fairy Wind. That's all you know. There's no... This, is the, this has just been the problem with this entire series. None of these Pokemon have any fucking development. It's stupid, right? So I look like I'm interested in the fact that they're actually dividing the work right here because then you have Ash and Alon going up against Lysander. You have Clement and Clembot going and infiltrating uh, the, the Lumio's gym to, I'm assuming, fight Zero Sick. And then you have uh, freaking Bonnie with Punichan. And then you have uh, Serena with... Lysander Labs, and, you know, Sycamore and shit. I'm pretty sure Sycamore's gonna do more than her. But that's besides the point. I'm glad, you know, they're, they're all doing their separate things, but when none of these characters have any fucking worthwhile development and their Pokemon are all terrible, it doesn't really feel good at all. Like, if 
if they had actually fleshed out and developed Serena's Pokemon, if they have actually developed and fleshed out Clement's Pokemon, if they had done anything with any of Ash's Pokemon besides fucking Greninja, I would actually be hyped right now. But I can't be because all of the Pokemon are worthless. Like, I'm being legit serious. I would actually be super hyped like all of you guys have been telling me, all this excitement, if the Pokemon actually were worth a damn. But they're not. So then it just, for me, it just feels like, oh, we're just going to see random shit. Pokemon beating Pokemon they're not supposed to be, dude. And that's, that's the biggest problem with this thing. It's like, I know you guys want me to like this, but it's just not going to happen. I, I just, there's too much that's been just being dragged through the mud up to this point. There's no way to redeem it in my eyes. You have too many problems that have just been consistently been just pushed to the back all series long. To the point where you can't fix it now. You can keep trying to add shit to try to make it look cool, but it's not going to change the overarching theme that you just have not done a good, worthwhile storyline. And that's just the problem with the series. Like, you, you, you make it look pretty and awesome and shit like that, but when you look at the meat inside of it where it's like, oh, well, this, is, this shit's just dumb. It's raw. Like, it's not worth anything. And so, I don't know. Something else happened, and I totally... Oh, yeah, right. So I was going to say this. I was going to say this. Like I said, Blaziken Mask was with Clement, Clembot, and Bonnie and doing all that shit, right? And he was fighting uh, against the Team Flare admins. Bonnie leaves, right? We just see her ditch. I'm assuming the reason why we don't see Blaziken Mask with him is because he left for her, and he eventually does show up to save her. But again, he just disappears after that. Because the last thing we have is literally Bonnie. I don't know how the fuck she got down from the roof, but she's literally running after Punichan on the ground. So, and where the fuck is Blazing and Mask? That's what, that's the thing. Like, what? Where? This is a horrible father. I'm being serious. This is a horrible father. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Clement is a gym leader. You don't have to fucking worry about him. Save your fucking daughter. Do not let her go into danger alone. And look, look. I'm all for Bonnie doing shit by herself because she is the only character I give a damn in this entire show. But for fuck's sake, she's a little girl. The the most you should be doing as her father is constantly being by her side. She's going after a giant snake monster. For fuck's sake, Jesus! I'm sorry. This man, this this man gets dad of the year straight up. Just <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm assuming Bonnie's just gonna talk to it and be like. Ponychan, you can't do this, you good Pokemon, whatever the fuck, I don't freaking know. If she doesn't command this thing by the end of this arc, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm being serious. Bonnie will be completely ruined if she doesn't actually do something with Ponychan. Because what, then what, what's the point of her dragging it everywhere? I want to see Bonnie commanding this thing. That that would be the, the best conclusion for those two characters. And I'm being serious. If you wanted to write a decent storyline... Bonnie's not a trainer, but she's been taking care of Poonie-chan. So it would make sense for Poonie-chan to put all his trust in Bonnie, because she's the one that opened his eyes that humans can be good. So fuck it. Let her command you and fight in this thing. By the way, again, the, the, the messed up writing, Poonie-chan's already evil, right? Because they're just rushing shit at this point, right? That's the whole point here. They're just rushing shit. So... We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, that's going to be it for the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, there's going to be a train, There's going to be a card somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's going to last all episode long. I don't freaking know how cards work. Okay, That's going to give you a link to the video. So if you want to participate in the tournament, comment in that video that you want to participate, and I'll add you. Make sure you have your drafts by tomorrow. And yeah, see you guys later.